So have you guys ever thought of creating a smart stick for the blind people? That's what we're gonna see in this video. Okay guys, this is the uh, blind stick that we have created. So let's just see how it works. I'm switching on the stick. So if I go near any obstacle, you can hear a buzzing sound, right? So interesting, right? So let's try to do this in this video. We're gonna see how it works and all those stuff. So basically, uh, if it is under 15 centimeter, you can hear the uh, buzzing sound. You can set it at any range you want. I have tried to give it to less than 15 centimeter. You can also create this with uh, lots of ultrasonic sensor. This is the main important sensor. Like you can see, the sound has been produced as I keep my hand near it. If you have like four uh, ultrasonic sensor, then it is a much uh, useful uh, blind stick. Let's try to build this. Okay, now let's just see the circuit on the simulation so that we can create the actual project. Uh, this is a very simple circuit and you can see that this simple circuit can actually help uh, many people, right? So let's get into it. So you can see there is two components, buzzer and obviously the ult uh, ultrasonic sensor which is plays the major part to in calculating the distance for an object or obstacle. So over there we have four pins. Uh, let's see why all these pins are there uh, in a quite a bit. Well, uh, two pins are the common ones that is the VCC and the ground. Uh, same goes for the buzzer also, we have one VCC and one ground. Well, in an ultrasonic sensor, we have the trigger pin and the other one is the uh, echo pin. Uh, these two pins are very important. Uh, the trigger pin will actually send signals to the uh, from the Arduino to the ultrasonic sensor to show that uh, when to start uh, you know, uh, sending ultrasonic waves and then echo pin will uh, receive the uh, uh, waves that has been uh, detected from the uh, object so it will help in calculating the distance let's just see uh, how the uh, ultrasonic sensor calculates the distance uh, before we actually get into the coding part so the ultrasonic sensor is a sensor that measures the distance to an object using ultrasonic sound waves uh, and inside it it uses a transducer to send and receive pulses so as i already said the trigger pin will help in sending the pulse and the echo pin will help in receiving the pulse from the uh, object i mean if it's, if there's an object or obstacle it will detect it and the waves get reflected back uh, so basically uh, if you want to know more about the uh, actual working of the ultrasonic sensor i'll give a link in the description and also put it in the uh, the top right corner you can see that video it, it in that you can you can see, understand much more detail about the ultrasonic uh, working so well apart from that uh, you can understand more about it uh, why the trigger and uh, the echo pins are being used to calculate the distance when I explain the code. Okay, now let's just see the coding part. So over here you can see the first three lines is just to show that uh, we have three pins uh, which is being connected. So the trigger pin is in 7th and echo in 8th and the buzzer pin is in 13th. Uh, now coming to the setup part you can see that uh, uh, the trigger pin as I already said is only gonna send us, uh, you know, provide a uh, the sound waves so it is an, it is given as output whereas the echo pin is gonna receive the uh, sound waves that is coming from the object reflected back from the obstacle right so it has been given as input uh, so uh, over here you can see that uh, uh, in the loop function this is this first part is just to show that uh, the trigger pin is made as made low just to make sure it is being made low then coming to the main part where we can see that over here we are uh, switching on the uh, trigger pin for uh, 10 microseconds uh, so then after that we are uh, switching it off so basically the ultrasonic sensor does not act, does not actually create the distance i mean uh, give us the distance we only calculate from it it actually only provides us the uh, uh, time in which we uh, send or receive the pins so basically this pulse and function will uh, activate when the echo pin is made made high so basically this pin will uh, receive the waves that has been uh, detected back from the ultrasonic sensor so i am storing it in the duration variable and then i am calculating the distance so over here you can see this 0 0.034 by 2 this is nothing but uh, basically 340 meter per second that is the speed of sound i have converted into meter i mean uh, i converted into centimeter and then uh, this by 2 is because you can see uh, 
there are two moments so basically from trigger pin you get one wave and then from the object you can see your uh, other uh, uh, distance traveled by the uh, uh, waves for the to reach the echo pin so this is basically in order to uh, divide the distance into half that's it because it covers two times the uh, distance that we actually want and then I'm printing it this is just to make sure in the serial monitor we get the correct answer or not and I've set a distance of range of 15 cm so if there is the distance is less than 15 cm you can see the buzzer uh, switched on the tone function is used to switch on the bu uh, bu buzzer and then if it is uh, more than 15 you will uh, you will see that the buzzer will be at uh, zero frequency this is 500 frequency this is zero frequency the last argument is just to provide us that uh, for 25 uh, microseconds it will be I mean 25 seconds it will be active that's all so you can give this delay if you want it or you can also remove it it doesn't uh, much change the working of the project now let's just see the uh, simulation okay now I'm starting the simulation okay it has started simulation so let's just see if it's working or not um, over here you can see it is like in 175 centimeter if I bring this down you can see the sound has been uh, provided you can also see this in the serial monitor you can see it is uh, keep on reading it so when at uh, that a uh, point when uh, so at that point when it was uh, less than 15 centimeter uh, in this area you can see that the buzzer uh, activates okay now we saw like uh, you know, how to you know uh, activate the buzzer when the distance is less than 15 centimeter right so that we saw using ultrasonic sensor apart from just using ultrasonic sensor we can also use other kind of sensors like water sensors also uh, in order to detect water it may be much helpful for them but then now we are going to see something called as a vibration motor uh, which can also be used for uh, you know deaf people because they may not be able to uh, hear the buzzing sound right so this will actually provide some uh, some sort of uh, buzzing, I mean uh, vibration which helps them to detect that there is some obstacle in front of them. So let's see how we can implement it. I'm going to connect the positive side of the uh, vibration sensor in the third pin and the ground obviously to the ground pin of the uh, Dino. Okay, so in the coding only a few changes I have already written the code one of the changes uh, to make sure at what uh, variable we are gonna uh, you know I have declared a variable like vibration and a third pin we, we are connected we already know that that's what I have declared here and then in the setup mode it since it is an output pin I am giving it as uh, output and then over here in the condition part where you know that less than 15 centimeter we know we already saw that uh, the buzzer is gonna be activated apart from that we are gonna also make sure that uh, the vibration is also activated uh, so I made it high and then in the else condition uh, it is made low so very small changes only uh, we can see how in the simulation results okay I have started the simulation uh, so let's if I bring this down you can see of, of course the buzzing sound and also you can see the vibration motor activated uh, I'll just zoom it out and uh, show you how So if I bring it less than 15 cm The buzzing sound is too much high but you can see the lines coming out right that means it is just activated again you can see over here Hope you can see that uh, if, if it is too uh, busy you can also actually make sure that you can switch off the uh, buzzing sound Okay, now let's just start the simulation and see okay it is less than 10 centimeter right so less than 15 centimeter so you can see uh, the lines right uh, the small uh, lines that shows that it's vibrating you can also see it is kind of moving so in actual if you really have the sensor I mean this motor it you can use it for the uh, use it and uh, make sure uh, that FP feel and also that the blind people gets uh, notified Okay, so the circuit is exactly the same. I've just used long wires to extend this. That's all. Uh, but ex uh, the, apart from the uh, circuit that you saw in the simulation, one thing that I've added is uh, I've used a 9 volt battery to power up the uh, 
Arduino, I use an Arduino. As you can see, the buzzer right here is inside the box, and I've connected a switch so that it becomes handy. So whenever you want, you can switch it on, and, and you can use it. And uh, apart from using just ultrasonic sensor, you can also use something like water sensor. You can connect your and also other vibration sensor which I'll be showing you in the which I have showed you in the simulation part right to make it much more useful so I hope you have understood it guys and thanks for watching